Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. And today, the bamboo story. Actually, it's a story that Tony told me. And it's, it's real. He's trying to find, he was trying to find and buy some bamboo to plant uh, where he lives. Because it actually, I guess if you, put it, if you put it in place, it provides almost a natural fence because it grows really thick. Anyway, he's trying to find bamboo. It actually, he had to drive out of town. And when he got to this place to get this bamboo, it was kind of a neat place in the sense that there were all different varieties of it, and it's unique. But the place wasn't great, and it wasn't very busy, and Tony thought it was really kind of a shame because it could be. And the reason I tell you that is he said, listen, it was kind of weird. He said they had a bird there. I guess there's only 12 of them in the world, and this man has one of them. That's kind of neat. He said there were kinds and varieties of bamboo that would just blow you away. You would never seen before. It was kind of, it, it kind of interesting. In fact, he told a story about one certain batch or a variety of bamboo that you will hardly ever find, and he got a batch of it, and no one else has it, but he does. Um, it was really interesting, and yet this place was kind of dirty, not very busy. It could have been a lot better than it was. We had a conversation about this because there's a lesson here. We were kicking it around. I said, you know, he could, this gentleman could put up kind of an entrance to his, to his store, and it could be like Bamboo City or something. It could be kind of neat, made out of bamboo, and you could come in. It really would be special. Let's say he would even give you a special hat or something that you would wear, and he would give tours. Maybe actually give a tour of this and make it neat for even families to go on this. And then he could make it fun. And of course, that would make it fun, too. And he could tell the stories and embellish this a little bit and really get it exciting to talk about, now this bird, there's only 12 of these, and I have this one. Let me tell you about it. Now let's go over here. And in fact, one of the other stories is he actually, his bamboo is used to feed a panda at the city zoo. That's another kind of neat story. But he never took the time to put these stories together into a tour. He never took the time to call the stories by a unique name like here's, zoo, here's a bamboo city or here's the neat story here. If, if you take some time to take all of these parts and put them together into an experience, that place could maybe really increase the number of customers, right? I mean, it could really change things. I don't have to tell you it's the same thing for our cleaning companies. Rather than bamboo, we have to find the stories and the fun and the interesting things or create interesting things so that we can make our cleaning business an experience, an experience that's different than other cleaning businesses. Ours is really an experience. Let me, tell you, let me tell you the story of this training program. Let me tell you the story about these people. It's kind of unique. Here's some special people we have. Here's some special procedures. We do things a little different. If we take the time to create and spot the value and build it up and put it into a story that's compelling, that can be really what? Our marketing for our cleaning business. Does that make sense? So there's something to be learned from the bamboo story. Hope it helps. Hope you have a great week. Until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.